Friends, we have a very serious situation going on, and I felt an urgency to take a little time out because we're trying so desperately to get this book finished, uh, working with my editor as well to get this out to the Jewish people. Uh, but the serious news that, we're, that I want to bring to your attention, you may be aware of this already, but if you're not, I want to get it to your attention. I'm asking you to take this video and share it with every friend you have. Send it to your family and your loved ones, whatever you can do. It's serious what I need to talk to you about. Uh, my wife brought to my attention this morning that, uh, and she sent me an article from the Times of India. Now, the Times of India, the article I'm fixing to read just a little portion to you from, they got their source from the Jerusalem paper Haaretz online. And I did confirm it. I read it for myself before coming on with you that, yes, indeed, what they wrote here uh, is exactly what the uh, Haaretz is, is uh, uh, writing about. Uh, they say here the Vatican is about to indirectly recognize Israel's annexation of East Jerusalem, seen by many Palesti Palestinians as the future capital of their independent state. A media report today on Monday. This would be done if the draft of an economic agreement between the Jewish state and the Holy See containing no distinction between sovereign Israel and the territories occupied it in 1967 is approved by the two sides. Uh, and they said Haaretz uh, Online uh, reported this. Now, it's, it's, it's causing a lot of controversy, and I want you to keep in mind, and even if you happen to be a Palestinian or whatever, that you happen, might happen to look at this video as well, this is not going to stop a Palestinian state from being inevitable. It's, it's going to happen, uh, because even John in Revelation writes about the third temple being built. He writes about that in chapter 11, verse 1, when he says, take and measure the reed. Uh, like into a rod, and they measure the temple, the altar, he said, but the, the, it's given to the Gentiles, the outer court is given to the Gentiles, and they tread the holy city underfoot 40 and 2 months. Now, there again, it could be, because the Vatican is, give, be, is going to be given all of these holy sites to begin with, uh, but it's, it's the Vatican that, that negotiates this out, and they're going to take over this area. Um, now, importantly, I want to remind you of what the prophet Daniel said for my Jewish brethren. Uh, we need to, you guys know this, the 70 weeks of Daniel, uh, and we know where they began. There is a, a, a split in there somewhere, a time lapse, so to speak, uh, where the uh, 69th and 70th week is cut off, and then the 70th week has to begin again. And according to uh, Gabriel, he said, 70 weeks are decreed concerning thy people and concerning thy holy city. So it's about Israel, and it's about the city. And uh, interestingly enough, that's what the covenant is about the Vatican. They're discussing the sovereign right of Israel to East Jerusalem. Uh, so keep that in mind. To finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to atone for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness. It's also about the redemption of Israel. Now skipping down to verse 27, watch what happens in this particular uh, process here. We find out that it says, and this end shall be, uh, excuse me, uh, verse 27, and he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week. That's that last 70th week. That's the last uh, seven years, as it's called by many. And uh, there's going to be a strong covenant made. And watch what he says then. During half of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the offering to cease. That's exactly what will happen. There will be a break in this covenant that Israel is going to sign. Uh, and my brother, Benjamin and Yahoo. God bless him, but I know that this is the one mistake that he's making is signing this agreement with the Vatican. Just like David, you know, he was anointed king, but yet he still took Bathsheba, a woman that was not his. And this is exactly what my, my dear brother and, and, and prime minister of Israel is doing. You're taking another man's wife, and it's not the wife of Israel. And uh, you, 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 it's just it's majorly a serious situation. But I know I'm kind of babbling, and uh, but I felt like you should know this. We are, you know, it's not fully completely signed yet, as they said in the article. They have to come to that agreement, recognizing that, that Israel has uh, rights to East Jerusalem, which is exactly what uh, Daniel said that the covenant is going to be regarding uh, the people and the holy city, which is East Jerusalem. Uh, but I do believe the Palestinians will end up getting a state, and I do believe that they're going to allow them to have part of that East Jerusalem as their capital, because it says the Gentiles will tread the holy city 40 and 2 months. Now, could that be that the Vatican is the one that it's speaking of when it talks about the Gentiles? Could be. I could be 
not exactly on that 100%, but, but I think it kind of goes hand in hand and that the Vatican is only doing this and that Israel will build a third temple alongside the Dome of the Rock, which is only a disgrace in the first place, but I believe that's what will happen as well. Um, and one, one final note in closing, my friends, I'm, I, I, I'm asking you, we are uh, uh, so desperate to get this book out, get it translated in Hebrew. A good friend of mine is in Israel right now uh, trying to speak with some people to translate the, this book, Yam Suf, into the Hebrew language. Uh, my Hebrew is not good enough for that. As far as translator, you really need someone that is uh, not only Israeli-born, but is very good in uh, linguistics, both in English and in Hebrew. And um, we need your help. And I know there's been several of you that have been so kind to help us out. Uh, if you're able to do anything to help us significantly there, we will gladly send you a copy of the book as well. Uh, but our desire is to get this out to the Jewish people. There is tremendous chapter in there, and I will be including excerpts of that final chapter uh, that brings new evidence of uh, scriptural evidence to prove who the Messiah is, things that have never been introduced by scholars before that we feel like is going to have a tremendous impact on the Jewish people. So um, if you could do anything to help us out, we'd greatly appreciate it. There is a donate button on our website, IsraelReturns at AOL.com, uh, or you can take and uh, also find our, our address on there as well as on this video. God bless you. Pray for Israel. Pay, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and, and by all means, go to your neighbors, go to your friends and family. To send this video to everybody you possibly can. Not, not for the sake of, of, of trying to raise funds to get a book out. That's not the purpose. It's to warn people it's later than you think. God bless you.